percent of the 1.2 million dollars for the organ was fundraised. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So, all right. Is there anything that we can do? Is there, can we do the home base? Okay. Home base extension. Mark Stevenson, come forward. Moved by Jake, seconded by um, Phil. Any questions, uh, Mike? Thank you. Sorry, it's moving so quickly. I don't have the item up in front of me. But um, I'm just in in the. Um, through the decision making, there was um, there was information about uh, basically putting in a looking at doing a shared uh, pedestrian and cycling path from the um, from the site to the um, Kerry Two Drive. And, and part of the decision making um, reason for um, to say no to that was the fact that actually people biking, walking along, wouldn't want to go along. Kerry to drive because of the high volume of cars and speed, etc. When the reality is, um, that's actually a shared path that's physically separated with a barrier from from the, the road. Um, so it just concerns me with they're using that as a, a reason to to say no to something when actually it's not the actual true situation. I'm just wondering if you've got any comments on that. Uh, the um, it's a valid point. Um, the the panel. At paragraph 313, touch on, I'll cover this um, and conclude that a uh, parallel route that runs along oh, Havana, Havana Gardens and has a connection onto Innes Road provides a safer alternative to that. Um, I recognise, though, that the wording with reference to high speed environment may not, not acknowledge that it's separated. Um, and um, my understanding is the reference to high speed environment was recognizing this uh, may have recognized that despite the separation and the barrier that it's still a um, still close to traffic traveling at speed but um, that's something that we can um, seek clarity on if you'd prefer yeah well like if you're coming from the east you'd actually have to uh, embarking along a shared path which is separated you'd have to then cut down martian road and go on the on the road before entering the site, whereas actually if, if they had the access point, you would stay on a shared path, um, so therefore be in a much safer environment. Uh, so it does, it would be good to get some clarity on that because it does concern me when they're basing on the decision and they've got a sentence in there that's actually not correct. Certainly we can seek clarity on that. Um, Sarah? Just to follow on though, would seeking clarity on that change the outcome and get a path? Or is it just like, did you know? Because the outcome we'd like probably would be to get that path in down to Kiwi 2 mm. drive. Whereas if we're just saying, what did you think? That doesn't happen. Whereas if there was some incorrect information and we say, either we send it back and say, hey, can you just reconsider that bit because we think there's some incorrect information then they might come back and say, actually, you do have to do the, the shared path down to Kiwi 2 Drive. Yeah, um, the the panel once took a site visit, so they, I'd hope, would re appreciate the environment that the cycleway is in. Um, the, um, to revisit the merits, so the panel did conclude that um, access to Kiwi 2 Drive would not be appropriate, and there was no other uh, council's experts didn't... Uh, uh, did, whilst there was a preference given, um, the council experts um, didn't give any feedback to oppose that. Yeah, but the QE2 drive um, cycle path, shared path, that's there currently, is a key access between, you know, between um, anywhere in, you know, the east and, um, and then all the way through up to the northern corridor. So... Certainly... Um, so do we have an option just to send it back and just, you know, say, hey, we, we We can ask the panel to reconsider that and give further consideration to it in light of the evidence and information before it. Um, they did conclude there was no, they didn't see any resource management need for it, but that if council is not satisfied with that, it can ask the panel to reconsider that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would just, you know, after reading this and seeing the clear error, in my opinion, um, I would like to see send it back mm -hmm. and actually get them to re review their decision, which I believe was not 
Mark, is that, is that something that would be in order for the council to do? I mean, is that one of the... Because I know that the test is, is high for referring it back, but is that a specific item we could ask them to look at again? Yeah, in the, in the report, there is the option to refer the matter back to the panel. Um, I will just refer you to the... Yes, no, 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 I know that, and, and, um, but it's, it's not on the recommendations in front of me, and I, like Mike, haven't opened up at the right page. Um, um, if there's, if the, the, the council has to have reason for referring it back to the panel. But and the, my question is, is this a reason that is of sufficient standing to be able to refer back? Because we can't just refer it back. Like I have a question around the mana whenua um, uh, engagement that I want to kind of put on the record as well. But, but it's not one that I understand reaches the level of, um, of referring back because there is no, you know, element of um, oversight, which I think is the point that Mike Davidson's making. Yeah, um, in terms of the threshold, I'd, I'd have to get legal advice around uh, around that, which I don't have to hands, I'm afraid. But um, is, in, is there? A, it, 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 could we leave this item to sit on the table till the next meeting? I mean, or could yeah. we refer it to um, another meeting? As a, as an option, what I could do is, um, if it's considered at the next council meeting before then, I can um, I can liaise with the panel. Yeah get some clarity around and correction of that statement if, in fact, they had considered um, the factual circumstances and um, return to advise on the panel's intentions. Um, and in terms of the in terms of the threshold of ret returning it to the panel, um, I'll get some legal advice around that. Is that all right? So the, the next... What would be the time frame if we did just send it back? 30th of June rather than 14th of July. Yeah. yeah. But you need okay. to delegate. Okay, well, uh, we need a motion to do this anyway because the debates, um, and we've, we've moved and seconded an uh, item. So, um, so I'd like to move that this be referred to the next Finance and Performance Committee meeting with uh, delegation to make a decision on the paper, seconded by Sam. I'll put that motion. Yeah. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Yeah, it's referred to F and P with the delegation to make the decision. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, thank you, Mark. That's thank very you. helpful. Um, the next one is the. Um, are we back to Ihutai Estuary and Coastal Stormwater Management Plan yet? There is. Yep. Item 12. 12 yeah. All right. Um, so I've got a mover was me. 